What is going on, guys? This is the Club of the Man 1993. And this is episode number 174 of WWE Turn Alert. As this is definitely a strange one. I never thought I'd be doing just one of these men in a Turn Alert ever. Or at all. Even in a singles feud at all whatsoever. I thought, in my case. Um, as we talk about Jey Uso. Who had turned heel... Last night on SmackDown, by saying he's in, he loves his cousin, Roman Reigns, the travel chief. He's acknowledging for the man he is. Roman Reigns has to be at the head of the table, but Jey Uso is still going to get his own benefit out of it. Man, has this been one of the best storylines all year. Maybe the best. So Jey Uso, again, obviously the story's gone. Roman Reigns turns at SummerSlam as a heel. He wins the Universal Championship just one week later. And then he has, he after Big E was beaten down by Sheamus, he plays the system and has Jey Uso added into the number one contenders match for Clash of Champions. And who wins? Jey Uso, who's on his own right now because his brother Jimmy is out with an ACL injury. Don't know when he's going to be coming back. I still feel maybe by the end of the year or... Round Royal Rumble, maybe, not sure. But Jimmy Uso is going to be back sometime soon. Just don't know when. So again, I thought that this view was just going to help make, you know, Roman Reigns blossom a little bit more as a heel. This, to me, has made Roman Reigns blossom even more than I thought. And also, it's made Jimmy, I mean, Jay Uso look great. Of course, though... There have been rumors about this stable coming for Roman Reigns. And what not better way to do that than a heel bloodline. Heel bloodline. I love it. And it just started this past Sunday, as I said. That I quit Hell in a Cell match. Again, the match that happened because at Clash of Champions, Jey Uso did not acknowledge Roman Reigns as the tribal chief, as the head of the table of the family. And now that Roman Reigns got Jey Uso to quit, he has to either acknowledge him or be out of the family. Everyone. Brothers. Um, wife. Kids. All of them. Gone. No more Uncle Ooh! As apparently, um, as we learned in the Chronicle special, um, that's what one of um, Jey Uso's kids calls Roman Reigns. Uncle Ooh! Well, Uncle Joe. Or Uncle Ooh! But, um... We knew this was coming. We knew that, you know, obviously, you know, these two guys in real life, Roman Reigns, Jey Uso, even Jimmy Uso all, are just super close. They're super tight in blood. They've been best friends all their lives. So, in reality, when, you, of course, you get Jey Uso to even tell Roman Reigns' his own cousin he hates him, that just breaks his heart. So whenever he basically agrees to side with Roman, why would he do more than just super kick Daniel Bryan? He beat the piss out of Daniel Bryan last night. And it was awesome. And as I said, this heel turn by Jey Uso, eventually Jimmy's going to return and be a heel also. But of course, I'm pretty sure Jimmy's going to have some of that resistance at first. At first, he's going to have some resistance. But Jimmy's definitely going to come around. I, I I cannot see them keeping Jay Uso and Jimmy Uso separate. But I'm doing just Jay because obviously Jimmy's still out hurt. So I can't say for sure that Jimmy's going to come back and be in a heel immediately. But I think it may take a second or two. But Jimmy will be you know in this turn in a turn alert at some point as well. But as I said before in the SmackDown review, this turn is going to lead to a feud with Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan. That's what this turn was meant to do. Start that up. Because once again, what all started this Roman Reigns saga? The fans wanted Daniel Bryan over Roman Reigns in the 2015 Royal Rumble match. Either way, of course, that match still would have sucked, of course, whether who, no matter who won that match. But it would have been at least, you know, a little bit better because of the right person winning. Uh, but Roman Reigns, of course, again... He unfortunately got the short end of the stick. But that's when this all started. So why not have a few come back to that, speak the truth, have some history, and let's just glisten and ooze out of us 
as this just amazing, amazing storyline. If this storyline was amazing, then Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan is going to be even more amazing as well. And a heel bloodline starting with Jey Uso getting it, understanding, siding with his cousin at the head of the table. This is going to be awesome. And to make even better, to even increase a big money match feud for WrestleMania. Again, hold off till Jimmy gets back, of course. But the Usos and the Street Profits, WrestleMania, SmackDown tag titles. Ooh, I cannot wait. I hope they somehow, it's going to be hard to get, well, how much longer Jimmy's away for? Jimmy gets back. Usos, Street Profits, WrestleMania. That's going to be a must-see match. And I cannot wait for sure for that match to happen at WrestleMania 37. So that, guys, is my thoughts on Jey Uso becoming a heel. Jimmy will join when he gets back. May take a second to get his foot in the water, but he will join when he gets back. So what are your thoughts on this heel turn, guys? What are your thoughts on the heel bloodline starting to form? Make sure to leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. Slap a like on the video, subscribe or comment on my channel, and follow me on Twitter at DemandAirBoy93. And as always, guys, please stay tuned for more WWE Turn Alert.